Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel where Becca's doing the crew. Today we're going to do another fall craft and what we're going to make is this trade candle holder with items that you can find at the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. Okay, so to create this project, the supplies you're going to need are two of these pictures from Dollar Tree. They sell them in three different colors. Um, you're also going to need some glue, some twine. You're also going to need some scissors or an exacto knife. You're going to need some votive candles. I chose to use these ones because four fit really well in the box that we're going to make. You're going to need some leaves, a little flower of your choice, and a word if you want. I chose this one that says blessed. It's wood. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Some paint, and then you're going to need a hammer. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock the little hanger off with the hammer for both of these because we do not need those. So then we're going to cut the canvas bottom out or the front here of one of the pictures and we're going to leave the um, canvas on the other one just as is and we're just going to paint it. So once we have that um, top cut off there, we're going to use some black paint because that's what color the um, canvas is on this picture. And we're going to cover up the staples and then we're also going to paint the inside rim of this picture where the cardboard is and pay close attention to where you knocked off the hanger just to really smooth that out and give it a better look. So when it's all together, you can't see where the um, hanger was knocked off. So then we're gonna paint the inside of the second box and then of course the top where the staples are set that aside to dry and then go ahead and paint your word you can also use the metal words that Dollar Tree has out right now for fall that would be a great option as well for these boxes so now we're going to take some glue and line the top rim of this box here and then take the one that we cut the top off and that's going to be the top of our box and we're going to go ahead and glue these together here. So I didn't actually use hot glue to glue these together so I'm going to take some twine and wrap a nice tight um, knot around each side here just to hold that together while it dries. It does take 24 hours for this um, E6000 glue to dry. So once I've got um, each side of this tied together um, pretty snug then I'm going to go ahead and put some more twine on just to make a decorative edge and then if you wrap just a little bit of the twine on each side it helps to hold the candles in there snugly because um, those four votives really fit in there well but they're just a tad bit too small to make a nice tight fit. Um, so now I'm going to tie that twine on and just wrap it around five or six times on each side and then once I get that wrapped all the way around I'm going to go ahead and cut this off but leave enough excess that I can tie a knot. So I just slip the um, twine down underneath of one of the loops that I made and make a simple knot and if you want to it's not necessary but if you want to you can put a little dot of hot glue on the edge of that knot there just to keep it from fraying over time. So you're going to go ahead and do both sides of the box and now we're going to go ahead and glue the word onto the front. So I choose to I chose to use this um, wooden word here that says blessed. I got it from um, Hobby Lobby probably last year sometime. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on with the hot glue and the E6000 so it will hold in place while the E6000 glue dries all of the way. You can also use those metal words from Dollar Tree that they have out right now in the three pack. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue my little flower up to the corner there. And now that that's done, I did have to put a little bit of craft foam in the bottom of this box because the votive sat a little bit too low and I wanted the candles to sit up just a little bit higher. So I just put a little bit of craft foam in the bottom there and glued these little leaves onto the front of each one of the votives to give it a little bit more um, of a fall look. And this is what it looks like all lit up, the little candles there. I love the way this turned out. It's really cute. Um, I love how it looks like a palette look, even though it was just a little sign that they sell every year at the Dollar Tree. Okay, and that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and go ahead and leave a comment down below. And make sure you check out my videos on Friday. I always post a new Dollar Tree video and all the things that were new that I found that week. I'll see you guys next time. And here are some other videos you might also enjoy. Make sure you check back every Friday for a new Dollar Tree video to see all that's new for the week. And I try to post new craft videos a few times a month.